Julia. Hey, congratulations on your new film, Chosen Family. Thanks. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Well, I'd say it's really appreciative to, uh, you know, to for you to be in a film like this, independent movie, and also support Heather Graham. But uh, but we have to hear it from you. Is what initially drew you that you wanted to be part of this project? It was it was a no brainer. I was really excited to work with Heather um, as a director, and and she wrote a great script. It was really funny. It was really heartwarming. I don't have very good attention span when it comes to scripts, so I, it it grabbed my attention and it made me laugh out loud. And it's the exact kind of tone of a movie that I enjoy watching. Ab that that is so true. So how was uh, Heather as both as the lead actress and as a director um, to you on on the production set? She was great. It was everything I could have hoped for. She was very collaborative. She had a clear idea of what she wanted. Um, but she was able to communicate that very with kindness and um, and she was also just um, very sensitive to what the actors would bring um, to each part. And it, it was fun. Like it was it, she made going to work every day um, fun. Now, tell us about your character, Cleo, because uh, because your your character, you have to portray her. I, I don't want to say unlikable, but you also have to portray her with with empathy in a certain way. Right, right. I mean, part of the freedom that Heather gave me to portray her and not have to make her likable was so freeing and so fun for me because what I responded to about the character was just her total irreverence. And sometimes you have to hold back on that because people are worried that a character is not going to be relatable. And I actually found it really refreshing that she was even even when she's bratty, even when she's like acting like a, t a grown up toddler, I thought that that was um entertaining you know so and and there was something sort of cathartic about it for me too i just i really enjoyed it and heather didn't ask you know heather let me not hold back <laughs> so i mean you, you know the uh I, I i do have to laugh it's because the uh the outfits that uh, you have to wear for a uh, cleo you know the badass uh jacket and and the and the skirt is is it's so it's so true true in its form that was all the costume designer. I mean, and that was also, I think, um, a bit of Heather's vision, too, is maybe inspired, I don't know, by her own sister, but inspired by, yeah, she, they sent me a bunch of photos of uh, inspiration for Cleo's costume. And I was like, sure, looks great. <laughs> now, one, one, one of the things that the, it's, it's pretty funny about the, your character is uh, inventing uh, punch Pilates. Could you tell us uh, more more about that? So Cleo, it's funny because the main character, Anne, Heather's character, has really put a, uh, all of her energy and a lot of time and effort into developing a career as a yoga instructor. And that takes a lot of training and all this. And then her younger sister comes along and is in and out of rehab. And in rehab, she discovers that she is going to invent a, a new form of exercise called Panchalatis, but doesn't really put any preparation into it. Um, so, or work into it it's really just her letting out her visceral rage and punching at the air and grunting and um i don't know there's something to it it's it's probably very cathartic and you also get a little bit of cardio in it's not a bad idea but it's but i can but, but the, the joke in the movie is that it's so frustrating for the main character because here comes her younger sister like kind of trying to do the same thing but without putting any effort into it so in 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 the case in the case for yourself, did you just wing it um, when you actually had your uh, punch Pilates uh, scenes? Yes, there was no choreographer. Heather was just like, "Do whatever you want," and uh, I think uh, you know, again, I didn't have to think too hard about it because it kind of was so clear on the page, you know, who this person is that um, I just decided to like you know when you when you have a temp you have an internal temper tantrum. And if you were, or like you tell, you tell a little kid, like instead of punching the kid at school, you can punch a pillow if you can't control your own rage. I was, I was treating this character like um, a toddler, like she can't control her own rage. So she's got to punch the air and do some squats and grunt and, and shout. And that's a, that's a place where she can let that energy out. That's socially acceptable. And, and, and you certainly did that on, on screen. Um, you know, you know, um, it's it's always funny is because you know that 
Chosen Family is a sort of like a romantic comedy. It's a, it's also fam family comedy, but and I, and I remember I remember uh, watching you in so many romantic comedies. Um, what was it like being being on a project like this again? But uh, but this time I want to say you're not the lead of a romantic comedy. Right. Um, it's uh, it's nice not being the lead because you're not in every scene, so you uh, have a yeah. It's 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 a lot less to carry. But I think um, I love I, you know the thing about working on a romantic comedy or a comedy in general is that the energy that you have to maintain all day is so much lighter and uh, more fun when you're going to work than if you're working on a drama. It's a lot of times you're having to sustain like being in distress or crying or uh, a lot of negative emotions. So this is just like, whew, nice. From from um, from what people tell me that comedies are harder than than dramas. It's weird because you don't really know what's going to be funny. Like you don't have an audience's reaction in the moment to knowing if you're if it's funny. But um, I don't think it's harder, especially with a script like this, because the script was very funny to begin with. Well, what what is usually your preference in in terms of all these different type of genres? Comedy, definitely. And people don't think of me as a comedic actress, but I just find it um it, it's usually what I gravitate towards in terms of what I watch on my own and and just like like I said, going to work every day, it's nice to try and make people laugh and make yourself laugh as opposed to having to I don't know, be in distress or crying or all the things you do in a drama. So true. So, so true. Now you've done, you've done all kinds of projects, uh, you know, in, in your career. Um, tell, tell us about the love of, you know, helping out independent projects like this, especially Heather, Heather's project. I mean, it's interesting. Heather sent me the script um, a few years ago and also along, you know, she was trying to get it set up and get it financed and cast and all that. And that's a long process for independent films usually. And I was next to her, with my own movie trying to get that set up. So it was really inspiring to see Heather get her movie made and see it through from start to finish. And it made me feel like I could do the same thing. And, and, uh, and so you, so you have your own adventures into, uh, into doing your own movies like this too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I just, I, I just finished um, post-production on a movie that I directed that we filmed after, right after Chosen Family. Um, that should be coming out in theaters early next year. It's called Wish You Were Here. Wow! Well, congr congratulations on on that. That that's pretty that's pretty awesome. And and um, how how was uh, Ro Rhode Island the adventures in Rhode Island um, for 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 this uh, production? Rhode Island is gorgeous. I was like, should I move to Rhode Island? Um, I really like shooting there. Providence is a really nice city. And then uh, surrounding areas, you have lots of um, water. I mean, you see it in the film. The locations are beautiful. Absolutely. Well, Julia, let, let me uh, wrap it up with uh, one last question. Of, of, obviously, the, uh, you know, the, th the, theme, the theme of this uh, film, or the title of the film is called Chosen Family. Um, do, do, are, are you very, do you have a strong bond with your own chosen family in life, too? I mean, I have um, I have a couple of really, really good friends who are like family to me uh, that I've known since high school and college, and we've been through all different phases of life together. And it's even though you kind of, it's harder and harder to keep in touch because we have our own families and life gets busy. When we do reconnect, it's like riding a bicycle, and it's just very easy and seamless. And uh, and I love them so. I do. Um, my family, my actual family is way less dysfunctional. That's a double negative, way more functional than the one in this film. So I'm also lucky in that regard. But I think that the film, I think that the film, no matter what kind of family you come from, the film is very relatable because Heather's, Heather approaches it with a very comedic lens. And um, yeah, it's just, you'll, you'll see aspects of each character somehow in your own life. It's very relatable. Well, Julia, thank you very much for carrying this conversation with us about the Chosen Family. I love every single project that you actually are, you know, partake in. So it's oh, really thank you. appreciated that, uh, that you, you spoke to us about this. So thank you very much, Julia. Thanks. Have a great day.